So to begin our project, we're going to start by acquiring a waveform through an analog input that's built onto our board and bring it into our FPGA. Once on the FPGA, we're going to stream it up through a DMA of FIFO up to our microprocessor. So to see how this is done, let's go into our LabVIEW project. You'll notice that the LabVIEW project is organized by different targets to efficiently manage all the different targets that you're developing in LabVIEW. If we expand out our embedded software evaluation kit project and expand out our FPGA target, you'll notice that all of our I.O. are exposed through our FPGA, as well as the application that we're developing today. So let's double click on the FPGA application and then bring up the block diagram. The block diagram contains all the code that we'll actually be using and implementing on the FPGA. You'll notice that the upper loop I've already implemented, which this is a loop that's generating our sine wave using some IP already available within LabVIEW FPGA. This is then outputted through an analog output, wired back to an analog input, which now will drop onto our block diagram. So now if I go back to our project, you'll notice again that our I.O. is exposed in our project, and I'll drag down our analog input. Then I'll go down to a pre-configured DMA FIFO channel in order to stream that information up to our microprocessor. I'm going to connect these two blocks together in order to enforce data flow. Right click and create a constant timeout of zero as we anticipate that our data will be ready uh, every time we, we hit our FIFO. So now that's how we actually bring in a signal into our FPGA through an analog input and then stream it up through a DMI FIFO up to our processor.